Good morning, everybody, for this time, the home studios in Huntsville, Texas. Welcome, everybody. Glad to see you. Um, if you are joining us on Facebook uh, live, thank you very much for joining. We're delighted that you're here. Unfortunately, we are broadcasting from Zoom, so we can't see your comments live as they're coming through unless Bogdan's able to track it on his phone. I, I do have my uh, phone next to me, and I'm going to train myself to keep an eye on, on that platform. So if you guys are around, I will, uh, I will try to say hello to you. But if, if not, don't think we're ignoring you. We will get to the comments as soon as the show is over. So I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, and if you're with us on Zoom, we will be able to see you. Uh, so a, that, right? a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, the show today, everything you see is for sale. Uh, in fact, uh, if you'd like that black sofa, please, I'll give it to you for free. We hate that sofa. <laughs> But uh, everything, all the art is for sale. If you uh, if you if you're living someplace far, far away, that's no not a problem. We can ship anywhere in the world. So, uh, just wanted to to let you know, we're sharing the, the our love of what we're doing and the artwork that we're creating. But it is also for sale. Yay! Let me put the slideshow back and see where we are. I just want to say uh, at the beginning, uh, uh, a short reminder to everybody that is watching us either on Zoom or on Facebook, that you can guys uh, always follow, can follow us on Facebook under John Bishop Fine Art or Bogdan Photo Art, or uh, the same account for John and Instagram, John Bishop Fine Art. And the, my account is Bogdan on Instagram. R really easy to type in. And also we have a, uh, a weekly uh, channel on YouTube and we're going to talk about this just in a second. Now, uh, let's move with a, a little piece of news. Um, this August uh, uh, 14, August 14, it's an open uh, studio day at uh, Silver Sea Studios and our studios 108 and 111 will be open as well so if you guys have nothing else planned for this saturday please come join us um, see what we've been through what what we've been working on see what's new with us uh, we'll have a great chat you can purchase anything you like or not it's really up to you yeah and and by the way, on second Saturdays, we're our building is part of a, a larger group called the Sawyer Yard. There's actually six buildings mm -hmm. uh, in the in the complex, and so all of them will be open on second Saturday. So you've got loads and loads to choose from. It's a big deal. There's there's uh, also an art market in the evening, so it's a great place, a great destination. Uh, so on second Saturdays, everybody's open third Saturdays, just our building is open. Uh, and there may be others who are open in the other buildings, but everybody tries to be there at Silver Street. And on first Saturday, just the two of us. First Saturday, nobody's really open, but Bogdan and I are there. And it's a great chance just to come by and visit, chat, have a little something to drink. Uh, we'll give you a Again, it's art, it's a business in a way. So we are committed to uh, make this happen. Absolutely. And you're always welcome to call us anytime. Now it's uh, let's move on. The 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 first two uh, pieces of art we want to talk about today. Uh, <clears throat> one is mine, and uh, it's called Veranda Sunset, and the other one it's Nubs. Do I pronounce it well? Nubes. Nubes. And it's what is this? A monoprint? That's a monoprint. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it's Spanish for clouds. It's a very small one and very beautiful at the same time. But uh, if you guys don't know, uh, beside the photography bit, I do illustration and I do ink drawings. I don't do a lot of illustrations, um, but I, I certainly like doing it from time to time. And um, this particular piece is a from a series, uh, uh, a tropical theme series and uh, I call it Veranda Sunset. It is actually uh, uh, displayed on my uh, 
website as well and it's part of a uh, four pieces collection you can buy them all they will look gorgeous in a in a right environment or just one I think um, these are great, John. These are lovely, and they're so they, different. They yes. are, they are, they are so pleasant. They are 15 edition, each one of them, and can be printed in different sizes. Um, uh, uh, really, with this particular illustration, I can print a, a building size uh, because they want. Um, they are not based on pixels. They are based on a vector sort of thing, and I can. Uh, print them as, as, as big as I want. The one I am featuring today, it's actually a 14 by 14 print, and I have it right here. It's gorgeous. Uh, and let me let me stop the, the PowerPoint for a while. So this is it. I'm having a lot of light going on uh, right now, but uh, it's a lot brighter and vivid colors than it appeared in. Mm -hmm. In, uh, in the live show. Let me switch back. You've got a palm tree right behind you and it looks like it's an extension of your painting. Right, and it, they are so pleasant, so uh, quiet uh, uh, and uh, uh, very relaxing to look at. And- um, You hear the crickets. Right, and the, the colors are, you know, not many colors. There's like three or four maximum shades of uh, uh, greens or yellows and you know what it almost looks like it's cut out it almost looks like it's a collage it you does know? look like a collage but it's it's, it's actually it. it's hand drawing and it's a digital hand drawing on um, illustrator excellent so you did that by hand marvelous and it's printed again i am i haven't mentioned that it's printed of a, a luster sort of paper which is it gives that uh, the pearl-like uh, surface. Mm -hmm. So when you, it's very hard to show these uh, details on a, on a screen, on a live screen. But once you you have it in your hand, you can you can appreciate uh, the, the the texture of the paper and how well the print is uh, laid on this kind of uh, uh, luster paper. Beautiful. How about yours? Nubes. Nubes, again, is Spanish for clouds. Uh, this is in a series of monoprints that I did, uh, experimenting with, and this has got a lot of metallic uh, golds in it uh, and coppers. So what I tried to do was I tried just to explore texture and layering of color. And I just put layer on top of layer on top of layer, uh, all taped out. Uh, and uh, I just love the effect. The, I think they, I think they've only got one or two left in the series. I'll need to make some more. I may need to go bigger. I mean, I, these are lovely. This one is, it's on a nine by 12 sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all acrylic paint, by the way, it's not ink. Uh, and just the way you can get motion and, and this, this, this kind of burst of, of color coming from under other colors. I just think they're very, very calming, uh, but as pretty as I think this one is, I mean, that's nine by 12. So actually the actual piece of art itself, I think is eight by five. And uh, to, to do this larger might be might be more impressive, uh, but I still think they look lovely framed. And I have to uh, have to add here that I matted and framed this piece and it looks stunning. And the thing about it is, you know, with the, you, th you think that when you do think of things like a, 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 a paint pour, you know, you don't have a lot of control over what's going on. In these, you have a lot of control over where you're putting the color mm -hmm. and you can really enhance and it's not accidental, which is a lot of the splash paintings and drip paintings and pour paintings. Uh, you, you just have minimal control. You can plan it, but the paint will do whatever it does. Mm -hmm. These, however, you do have quite a bit of control. You can make it look very uh, ethereal, very, very uh, chaotic, if you'd like, but you can also uh, control the the medium quite well. Mm -hmm. and I, just, I love the effects, I really do. Yes, it, it looks you know, very good. That's the thing with monoprints, they're, 
it's a printing technique and yet there's just one you don't know, it's not like you could run a, uh, an entire run of them now before we move over we have to say hello to frank and to keith and to banu banu i don't know uh, we i work with banu in uh, moscow she was on my substitute hi banu uh, i don't know where she is this day either in moscow still or in turkey uh, she'll have to tell me uh, at some point but hello everybody and thank you for for uh, joining us in this live chat lovely and you said keith and tommy yes marvelous tommy's probably getting ready for school keith is in louisiana oh, frank. i'm sorry frank oh frank frank okay frank i know uh, frank either, either way hi tommy <laughs> and hi frank i i tommy <laughs> it's in the school uh, at the school today i would think he has to be at school uh moving forward i want to give a, a little credit to our friend and artist hatiri baron who last week had her um opening reception for uh, the summer chromance a beautiful beautiful great, exhibition great title. yes beautiful and romantic exhibition and it's uh, display at silver street studios and if you guys want to want to see more of her work uh, come visit us this weekend and um, you'll get to see some uh, gorgeous pieces by Hatiri Baron Yes, yeah, so Hatsiri followed me, uh, the Panka Marga series, it's in the same exhibition space and the the, the administration at Silver Street mm -hmm. gives the artists a chance to have their own shows in this one uh, exhibition space. So now it's Hatsiri's turn and she's she's done a wonderful job and her, her work is magnificent. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, we still um, the, the the some of us exhibition at Silver Street, which is a, a group exhibition of all artists in silver, is still going on. And uh, these are our pieces. These are my pieces, four pieces: um, Midtown, uh, In Motion, City People, and this one is, I believe, uh, Summer uh, Harvest. Something I can't remember right now. And your uh, pieces has uh, um, from Banca Marga are on display as well. Right. These are three of the pieces. I said if we're going to have time to exhibit them, I'll put three of them out. The rest are in my studio up on on display. Now, uh, hello, Carlo. Uh, we have a new Hi, visitor on Facebook. It's great to have you here. Um, next is. Fine Feria in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, if you guys don't know, I have been selected to present my work at the Fine Feria, some of my work at the, the Fine Feria Festival in Guadalajara at the end of August. And I am freaking out now because I got ready with all the, the prints. Uh, they are 20 by 30 and guess what? They don't fit in the suitcase I planned for. So today I'm gonna have to um, go to Walmart, and I guess so. Uh, look for something gigantic. Uh, they have to be two because the, those uh, museum politic plexiglass uh, I have to carry with me uh, are they weigh a ton. A ton, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But that's something to stress about today. And if you guys have a any idea how to make this work please leave a message or a comment well i'm already his sherpa i have to carry the uh help him carry this stuff across the border but i get a free trip to mexico and then uh, again uh, the festival in uh, argentina started uh, on the first of august and it's in full run um, and uh, uh, for those one who are uh, don't know. I have been selected as a guest artist at this festival with um, yeah. with the synopsis series, and um, I'm not gonna go over all these images right now. But if you want to see the synopsis series, it's up on my website at bogdanphotoart.com. This is a really big deal, though, right? I mean, this is a this is a month long uh, festival, right? All um, about photography, and it's I think the big. The big one in in Argentina. I don't know if it's. The big I think it's the only one that it's left right now in Argentina. Mm -hmm. It used to be the Photo Fest, but uh, 
um, it, apparently it took a break in there, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll come back soon. And um, again, we want to thank you all. Thank you all collectors. Thank you for um, believing in us, supporting us. Thank you for watching us. Hi, Harold, uh, a new visitor okay. today. Uh, what a fantastic group of people. Um, okay, and by the way, when we're, when can I just point out in this particular slide, if you look up at the top. Yes. Frank and Tommy, who have purchased one of my- Oh yeah, that's right. In the same series as Nubis. Uh, so uh, I just happened to see that and was like, there's one right there. You can see it framed. Yes, it's gorgeous. And uh, if you guys uh, wonder what we've been doing, uh, what have we done, what we've been through, um, everything is uh, kind of wrapped up in uh, our vlog art life episode 26 i can play it i guess a little while we talk about it you can't get enough of us yes i mean we, we're sharing our uh experiences as a as a life as an artist and um you know sometimes it's challenging like anything else right yeah the vlog is is a way for us to share with with people a little bit more about us as artists as well as our lives and what we're doing who we're meeting along the way and what we're learning about running this art business which is a weird way to make money but something we are absolutely in love with and if you guys like these videos please do uh, subscribe um, get notified and uh, just follow us we'll be glad to have you in our group and uh, uh, this last week these last two weeks actually We've been working very hard on updating the websites and making more functional and working on the SEO. Uh, it's a lot of my smoke is coming out of my ears. I have to, I have to say, and um, I think learning Chinese would have been a lot more easier than coding. But um, I updated my website with the in drawings and. Uh, the illustrations, some of the illustrations, I'm still uh, working on that. And uh, of course, um, all these new pieces I've been working lately at the Lidicotite hand embellished in golden metal leaf uh, are available as well. Here they are. Stunning. What else? What else? Those are our websites in case you guys uh, wonder. Very easy, bogdanphotoart.com and uh, johnbishopfineart.com. Uh, what else? We have a new um, visitor joining us from Romania. Hi, Roxana. Roxana. I, uh, Roxana, yes. I worked with Roxana a long time ago in Bufta Studios. And, um, Bună ziua. Bună ziua, Roxana. Uh, well, I want to make. I want to say that in between that website work, I need a mental break. So uh, when that happened, I had to uh, work on that sculptural series, and mm -hmm. I'm coming up with the next one very soon. Uh, here it shows uh, uh, the the roughness and the background of uh, what's gonna be next, and uh, I, I love what you. Yeah, yeah. So this, those arches would be applied on on the on the black piece at some point. But I'm working on, and uh, hope, hopefully it's going to be ready next week. You know, I don't want to uh, uh, waste too much time. Go back a little. Unnecessary. You know what I mean? How about you? You've been busy too. Well, let, let, let's go back a, a bit. I just wanted yeah. to point out. It's yeah. so amazing to me that. You know, you're taking a two-dimensional uh, medium, which is photography, right? Because photography is a flat medium on paper, and you are then cutting them out, making them three-dimensional, yes. um, which is amazing. And 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 then you take a photograph of them to share it, and they look two-dimensional again. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's so hard to appreciate that those are, you know, you almost have to go to the side. Those are are raised up quite a lot, mm -hmm. and they're very very dramatic and very very interactive I, I just i find them stunning 
And I, I always appreciate when an artist can take something I'm used to seeing all the time and make me see it in a way I've never seen it before. And I just really want to congratulate you on this series. And I just, I, I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. I thank you. I, I really have a ball creating these pieces. And you know, it's probably the, I, I really like uh, ballet and I really like the theater staging. Um, and, and that somehow those are the, the inspirational uh, uh, behind these uh, uh, works. You know, uh, we work to, we used to go to a lot of uh, uh, shows in uh, Moscow. And if you remember uh, all these elements behind the, the, the stage would come uh, almost like, like these uh, uh, sculptural pieces that I'm doing now. And then there's the renderings for those kinds of uh, design uh, renderings that they do before those shows that they that sometimes you've seen on display. And those really remind me of, of these as well. So congratulations, they yeah, look great. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, next is, um, it's you, how about that? Oh, it's me, ta-da! These are uh, works in progress. I've been working on some uh, pieces here at the, the home studio here in Huntsville. And uh, this particular one has no title, but it is finished. Mm -hmm. uh, I just finished it. You know, you never know when an, an abstract is finished. You just have to stop at some point. But- uh, Lovely, I, I always see a, a sunset in there. Uh, everybody, you know, on an, abs on an abstract, anybody can see whatever they want. I see a sunset with some, uh, well, the trees lighten on behind, uh, and these squares above, they're like clouds to me. It's like unbelievable. I really, really enjoyed this piece. Uh, it, uh, the, there seems to be a horizon there for me as well. Um, I never intended it to be a sunset, but if you see a sunset, then there it is. I love the way you're uh, you're you're envisioning it. Uh, one of the things I, I read somewhere is that nobody buys green paintings, and I was like, oh shit, I do a lot of green paintings. <laughs> but uh, so I hope that that uh, you know we we can't use that brown word. I'm just oh, saying. the brown word. I apologize. And then the uh, based on the same kind of event, I did this one. And I don't believe that I'm done with this one. I think it still needs more work, but uh, I like where it's going. And uh, these are the things that I've been working on lately. And I, would, I was hoping to have them ready for tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, not tomorrow, for Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe by Saturday I can have them ready. Uh, That's fantastic. We'll see if they'll be ready for the studio on Saturday. Moving forward uh, with the next two pieces of this show, um, this is home, mine is on the left, home, uh, day 26 is called, and uh, yours is Mitaro, is this you how you say it? Mm -hmm. Now, with my piece, home day 26, it's from a series I worked last year in the time of COVID, when I was uh, basically home, um, not having any choice. So uh, that gave me the, 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 um, the chance to focus of the things behind me and actually um, express what I have in my soul, basically, and what I'm experiencing. So those are basically from the window of the house. And uh, all pictures in this series are, 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 are somehow um, photographing a soft focus so that it gives it gave that um, illusion of um, everything is fragile. And um, this is during the lockdown, right? So right. we this couldn't is, go into the studios. And um, um, they are there are quite a quite a quite a bit of them, um, and they are all available on my website if you want to take a look under the COVID nineteen series. Some of them actually really made in some uh, exhibitions, and one uh, was right here in town at the Center for Photography. Mm -hmm. And um, those are some others in that um, series. Uh, let's see, let me let me share with you the actual framed one, which is, they are not very big. They certainly can be print bigger, but this is a nine by 12, I believe. 
<clears throat> and the paper it's a, a velvet paper it's called it's like a watercolor paper it's a professional photographic paper and it has a smooth and smooth uh, surface to it so it's it's not shiny it's like a matte paper um, very very beautiful and well, i think the whole idea was to to chronicle the lockdown right and so right. you have day 26 and at some point you just have to give up because who knew it was going to be day some, 500 and <laughs> at some point i stopped i said okay i have to work something out because two months of this is too much i can't print this series ever yeah it just becomes the new normal there's no more chronicle. but it's if you guys like anything from that collection on the website let me know and uh, we can make that happen for you i haven't i haven't put it on the store yet because i need to i need to select some of the pieces i can't put just everything out for sale mm -hmm. but that was a very touching series there's there's some uh there's some real emotion and because we all kind of went through it i think a lot of people can can appreciate and bring their own experience into into the photos which is always a mark of a good photograph uh but uh yeah, yeah, you went. Yeah. You, had, you had several uh, exhibitions at that. that you know, all, right. all the exhibitions were going virtual, though, and so a lot of them you were like, "Oh, wow, we don't really know how to to cry, uh, how to kind of mark the fact that you were in this exhibition because it was just online." Uh, and you know, it started. It started like a bluish. Here is my website, and then uh, I. I photograph whatever I felt like and it's, it's, it was a very interesting uh, project by the way yeah yeah and I had a lot of people did a lot of series like these and there are more uh, other images that I, they, they haven't made it to the website yet but uh, one day I'll share it with everybody maybe I should do a mini exhibition there you go anyway your turn my turn this is um, Mitaro uh, I have this series that I really, really like. I call it Cart Cartographic Distractions because I, I did this series of, of uh, abstracts. And then I said, you know, they kind of look like maps. They kind of look like you're looking down. And uh, uh, so I, I counted them up and I said, I have these 17 things that look kind of like maps. And I said, uh, what are there 17 of? So I did some research and come to find out there are 17 Cook Islands. Mm. And uh, we were we live down in New Zealand. And so the Cook Islands are there. And uh, so I just named them after the different uh, uh, Cook Island. Mm -hmm. I love the series. They are, they, I, I had started with, uh, and you'll see a lot of my thing where I kind of do a first pass with kind of a usually a beige background in, in a latex paint. And then I will start building on top of that. So it's got this kind of matted look to begin with. Um, and then I just start laying on the, sh the shapes and the, and the colors. Um, you'll see some of my signature things. You can see the little dots down in the bottom left corner. Uh, Whenever I put dots like that, I'm recalling the kind of idea of the Aboriginal art uh, from Australia, mm -hmm. where, and, and in that symbol for me is that, that, that there is a dream time, there is another place you go when you're looking at art. And so I'm hoping that my art will take us to that place. Uh, so there's the Sacred Circle, I certainly uh, have used that a lot. But I really, really like the layout of all of these, and this one in particular. Uh, they look, look, they're 9 by 12, they're not very big, but again, matted and framed, they can be quite dramatic. Yeah. Um, I mean, so not, I really not all art has to be big, right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, if it's not big enough, then just get a bigger frame. <laughs> So this is the end of our show tonight. Uh, tonight, tonight somewhere in the world, uh, yeah. actually 11:30 in the morning. Well, maybe, yeah, it's probably night. And uh, here are some um, final contact details if you want to, if you guys want to get in touch with us. Otherwise, um, it has been great to, to to have you here. We have quite a group today watching us. And I want to thank you to all of you being here and uh, 
supporting us. It's because of my new clean teeth. That yeah, clean teeth. they're so bright. You can you can light up the yeah. planet. Well, wonderful, guys. Have a great week, and we will see you next time. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.